Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to this particle mini series. Now we're going to take this material and put it into a working particle system, and hopefully get some sounds as well. Okay, so we have our material. So let's right-click and hit particle system, new particle system. I'm just going to call this uh, dot shower underscore ps. It's always good to sort of give a little um, suffix or a prefix. So we chuck straight into Cascade. So the first thing we want to do is just show our constant browser and just click on the material and then maximize Cascade just so that we have that selected as our current object. So go to the required tab here and you can see it's currently using material engine materials default particle. Now we need to change that. So just set the tags for the video. <laughs> just press the arrow because we selected it. And you'll see that nothing is happening. No, no, there we go. It took a bit of time. So thinking, well, that's not right. It shouldn't look like that. Well, you're right. It shouldn't look like that. And it's quite a simple way we need to set up here because this doesn't know that by default, you know, that there's more than one image there. So let's go down here on the left hand side and go to sub UV. It'll look like this. And we want to tick. The first one needs to be on linear blend, and then we have four image horizontally and four image vertically. And as you can see, it's just going to play the first frame because we haven't told it to do anything else yet. All right. So now we're going to have to click here, uh, right click, and add a sub UV movie. As you can see, it's playing through them. If you click on it, you'll get some settings. Now it's playing through them quite fast, so I'm going to actually turn that down to about 10. So each separate particle is being played through that whole list of uh, particles, uh, the images, even though it's in one image. So there you go, so I could even bring it down as low as like 5, make it really low, or 1, and that, obviously that won't change to your biggest two colors. But we have 16 images, so I'm going to do 16, so it plays all of them in one second. I'm going to go to uh, initial um, velocity, and in here it will look like this. Go to start velocity, open distribution, open max and min. So if we set the x and the y to 50 and 50, and on the minimum to minus 50 and minus 50, you can see it's going to give a random value between how much on the x and y values it can actually push it. And I'm also going to bring down the max z to 60, so that's a bit more. There you go. Obviously, you can change all this. It depends on how you'd like it to be. But I'm going to actually bring the lifetime up to about 2. Uh, and the minimum to like 1.5. That's nice. Um, and I'm going to change the size. So the minimum size, I'm going to say about 15 on all axes. And I'm going to say max of about 20. Okay, I'm happy with that. Obviously, feel free to change and add any of these things. There's quite a lot of uh, stuff you can look up on the UDN. In fact, I'm going to bring up a page about it now to show you. If you go to udn.epicgames.com, and it's simple on the right hand side of the search, if you search for Cascade, which is the editor we use in UDK for editing particles. Sorry, my internet is uh, not very good. And we have a Cascade user guide. And this will tell you a lot more in detail about Cascade, what all the buttons at the top do, um, graph views, all these lots and lots and lots of useful things. Alright? And there are more detailed things about those right click menus if you were to go into, here we go, yeah, particles and effects. And then obviously you can go particle systems. Particle system reference, there's quite a lot of these. So you can see how they all work. Alright, so we've got our particle working now. Now, by default, our particle in the content browser will show there's no image. Um, it doesn't mean anything's broken, it means it's got a thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and move my camera around a bit so I've got a nice view. And I'm going to hit this camera button here. And when I close this, as you can see, it saved a little picture. It's not accurate, but it shows 
bit easier reference what that particle is. So I'm going to go save this package. And I'm going to place this, just drag it into the scene. As you can see, straight away it appears, and you can move it around. And I can make it two size, that's the world size. Don't change the other ones because that will change on one axis, so I've got five on the X. That's 85. As you can see, it stretched over quite a big distance, but so if you keep those on one, which if you change the first box, it changes them all uh, equally. If I deselect it, you can see that uh, it's actually running very well. See. If I turn on game view, you can uh, also see that it doesn't have all those boxes around it. Okay, so I'm going to save this and go ahead and play with mobile preview. Let it start up. As you can see, I'm in the uh, iOS thingy here. And it's working absolutely fine. Brilliant. And it's two sided as well, so you'll see it from all angles. So, what we're going to add now is the sound effect. So, we've got a bit of sound in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up your content browser, click all assets, and click clear just so you've got nothing selected. And there's actually a folder here called UDK Cool Ambient Sounds. So, if we go into here, there's quite a lot of these uh, things, and I quite like this one. Yeah, this one. I'm going to stop playback on that. You just right click and press stop sound. Um, and I'm going to quite simply just drag that onto the scene and make this sound blaster icon. As you can see. It's got quite a big radius, so I'm going to bring that down. So if you press F4 or double click on the actor. Open up ambient sound symbol. Open up ambient properties. Uh, open up this attenuation. And I'm going to bring the radius down to like 50 minimum and like 100 max. And we'll see if that's big enough or too small. That's a bit too small. So I'm going to say 100 minimum and 300 max. That's perfect. Place it like that. I'm actually going to make 500. So we get a sort of a sound that gets louder as we get closer to it. And then to give it a bit more of um, a random feel, because at the moment it's just going to play that same sound and loop it. If we change the modulation here to like 1.2 and 0. Sorry, around the other way. 0.8 on 1.2. It's going to change the pitch each time. It's worth changing the volume, so 0 0.4 and 0.7. That's fine. Now, if I go ahead and play this on Mobile Previewer. A quiet sound. Then. So we've got sound as well for this little thing. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, please do comment or ask me on the Epic Forums. My name is Cray and Play. Um, if I've helped you at all, then please thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.